In this problem, we are being given the formula for a circle, or the equation for a circle, but it's not in that standard form. Standard form I've got down here, x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared equals r squared. This is a convenient form to have a circle in because you get the center at hk and you get the radius r. So what we need to do with this equation is manipulate it until it looks like this. And that's our job here. We're going to do that mainly by completing the square. So, and then we're supposed to graph the circle. We'll make a sketch of that to show you how. What I'm noticing, first of all, is that I have one y term, and then I have two x terms, and then I have this number term. To get it to look more like this um, standard form equation, I'm first going to just add 16 to both sides to get that number over on the other side. So that leaves me with x squared, and while I'm rewriting this, I'm just going to bunch the x terms together. And actually, I'm going to leave myself some space. y squared uh, equals 16. OK, so far, so good. This expression, x squared plus 6x, what I want to do is I want to make that a perfect square so that I can rewrite it to look like this. When we have the x squared term and the x term, to make a perfect square out of that, you need to add a number to it. And the way we get that number is by these rules here. We divide the middle coefficient, which is the x coefficient, by 2, and then we square it. So 6 divided by 2 is 3. 3 squared is 9. So I'm going to add 9 there. If I add 9 to this side of the equation, I have to add 9 to this side of the equation. And then I'm just going to separate this out because I want to think about this separately. So I've got x squared plus 6x plus 9, which actually looks maybe farther away from the standard form than we were before. But this is a perfect square. This is equivalent to the expression x plus 3 squared. And you can verify that by multiplying x plus 3 times x plus 3, and you'll get this. I mean, this is the reason we completed the square. When you complete the square, that middle coefficient divided by 2 is what goes in here. So now what do we do about this y squared? We're supposed to have y minus k quantity squared. Well, we don't really need to do anything there. You can think of this as y minus 0 quantity squared. That's the same thing. y minus 0 is y, and then you square it. So that's fine. And then over here, 16 plus 9 is 25. And that's a pretty convenient number, too, because we can take the square root of that to get our radius uh, pretty easily. So now we are ready to graph our circle. Um, our coordinates for our center are, well, the negative of this number, negative 3, and 0. So our circle is centered at 3, 0. And the radius is the square root of this number, so the square root of 5. So I'm not going to put this on a regular coordinate plane. I'm just going to make a little sketch. So negative 3, 0 would be here. We'd count up 5, count down 5, count over 5, over 5, and then we'd draw our circle in on the graph, like so. So that is how to I, uh, complete the square so that you can put uh, an equation for a circle in standard form to find its center and its radius and graph it more easily.